freshman year for high school for me, she disappears. Hi. Oh, Joyce. Hi. At age 17, Sam and I take a road trip to find her. Two brothers go on a 20-year road trip in search of their missing mom, and they document the whole thing. That's the plot of a new documentary based on what happened to two men from Seattle. It's called Sam Now. It's getting incredible reviews. It has a special screening tonight at the Egyptian Theater on Capitol Hill. And joining us now is the director, Reed Harkness. Reed, you're one of the two brothers. Thanks for joining us. By the way, our first guest we've had in the pandemic era. So we're glad to have you here in studio. And Sam is your half-brother? Half-brother. Okay, so what happens? He's a freshman in high school. What happens? Um, his mom, my stepmom, vanishes one day out of the blue. And, of course, our family is distraught and they call the police. The police get back to us after a couple weeks saying, we've found her, she's not being held against her will, and she doesn't want to talk to any of you. Wow. Years pass after that, and then Sam and I make a decision to do something. Which is what? We go on a road trip. Um, Knowing where she is, or having no idea where she is? We have some, some clues. Okay. And you, at the time, you're, an, uh, you're into film, or you just think, I'll take some pictures, but you have videos. This is, I mean, at the time it's happening, you're taking video the whole time. I've been filming Sam since he was 11. I started a long-term project filming my brother growing up. In that span, this significant thing happens that really changes the trajectory of the stories. So this is like Boyhood that we saw from Richard Linklater, but it's happening for real. It's not a fiction. Something like that, yeah. And your brother Sam was okay with it, like at the time, or he said, "Well, this will nothing will ever come of it." Or how did it play out over all these years? I think that you know the filmmaking for us was a way to bond, but it was also a way for us to escape, and you can see that in the film. There's a sort of something between reality and our own fiction running at the same time. And I time. imagine a kind of a coming of age story as well if it starts when he's 11, mom disappears yeah. when he's 14, and as he gets into young adulthood, like how did how would you describe his emotional journey until the end of the movie? It's incredible. It's incredible to watch somebody grow from 11 to 36 and what Sam has gone through in particular with the significant story of his mom leaving to now. I mean, right now he's a social worker. He does all this amazing stuff with youth. He's an incredible person. Wow. I would imagine someone who goes through something like this either turns quite inward or outward in terms of helping people or, 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 or not. Um, and, and then the decision to finally you know, turn it into a film that you put out, what's that journey been like for you? You're kind of involved in it, but you're also trying to direct a movie that's going to be a hit. <laughs> you know? I don't recommend it for anyone. <laughs> it, it is uh, maybe the most arduous uh, kind of filmmaking you could possibly do. Um, but it is something that I felt compelled to do. I felt like I had to do this. Um, it's uh, just something that is so close to, to my heart. And, you know, uh, really just I see it as a love letter to the whole Harkness family who are going to be there tonight. Wow. So it'll be emotional. If, if our viewers can't get there tonight uh, in Capitol Hill, how can, how can we all watch the movie? Um, it's going to be doing a, a film festival tour starting this fall, mm -hmm. and then um, it'll be on PBS in the spring on Independent Lens. We're All very right. excited about that. Well, we can't wait. Again, tonight at 7 o'clock is the screening, a special screening. The family will be there. You'll be there. The producer, Jason Reed, who viewers saw Sonic's Gate, he's involved in this film as well. It's called Sam Now. Reed, congratulations on the journey on the film, and thanks for joining us thanks on King so 5. Thanks so much, Steve.